Hi everyone, this is AJ, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a new review, um, comic book review for the, well, for issue one of Punisher War Journal Blitz. Um, so, so let's talk about this issue. Okay, yeah, so Punisher War Journal Blitz just came out this week. Um, I did get this cover here and that variant cover um and the only two i got for this one i know there was the other one with just the face on it but i thought that looked awful didn't need to get that one um and obviously there are variant covers like one in 50 and that sort of a thing one for every 50 of the standard that are printed didn't get them either so uh, yeah i'm going to talk about this um it needs to be spoken about i think so yeah punish war journal blitz issue one now it is an issue one, but it's a one-off. It's a one-and-done story. It is, um, yeah, it is, it's a one-off. Obviously, this story is set during, at the moment, the current Punisher run, where the Punisher is Fist of the Beast for the Hand, um, the, the criminal organisation. He uses their, their, their powers, essentially, to get to criminals and all this sort of stuff because he's been offered his wife come back and all this all this, that's the backstory of, of, of this current run of the Punisher now this issue here comes written by Torren Grombeck um, I don't believe I've experienced anything that he's written before artist Lan Medina same there and then and color art Antonio Fabella yeah so this story basically follows Frank and, and a team of the hand they're trying to hunt down a um, character called Hatemonger. Um, now, Hatemonger's this sort of crime lord who's got his hands in drugs, in dirty money, in, in all this sort of stuff. And there's two, there's one main story in this of Frank going after him, but then we flash back to Frank Castle 10 years prior because we come to learn that Hatemonger has actually run into Frank Castle before. So Frank Castle has got a vendetta against him and... Um, the geezer got away with murder essentially um, 10 years prior um, so this fuels Frank Castle to end this guy essentially and that he does um, I'm not going to go into any further into the story of it um, now this iteration of the Punisher um, I, I, I'm not keen on I'm not keen on the all right the, the design of the skull is one thing anyway um, but I'm not keen on the fact that he doesn't rely on his standard arsenal of weapons. He isn't the Punisher. He isn't Frank Castle. Um, this just seems so out of character for him. But from a political standpoint, with everything that's going on in America, with the gun culture, the gun crime, and, and what's happening in schools, all these unnecessary deaths that are occurring at the hands of uh, the hands of guns, um, I believe that Marvel Comics are stepping away from having the Punisher running around with guns, which is really unfortunate, because that's the character's opus, uh, that's the character's um, thing, do you know what I mean? Um, so here, even in the flashback scenes, and this is where it becomes most apparent, in the flashback scenes within this comic, set 10 years prior, before the Frank Castle is running around with the hand, um, he isn't using guns, he's using a knife. Now, you could say, well, he couldn't get guns over to this place. and it's, He's using a knife because they don't want to have your hero carrying guns. They have your hero. He's using a knife, okay? Um, he's not using guns, and I believe this is being done purposely and written purposely this way. The bad guys are using weapons of, of that ilk, but Frank Castle, the Punisher, isn't. And even this in this, when he uses a rocket launcher... These are rocket launchers that, that that are fantastical in that they've got um, pin particle grenades on the end that whatever they hit, they they increase the thing in mass. So it's not like using real weapons. Um, they're stepping away from having Frank Castle the Punisher utilize proper armory, and and this is the issue I have. Um, the part the, the character within this series is being watered down. Now I would like to believe that. 
um, this is just a one and done story. I don't mean this issue being one and done, but a current Punisher line is once it's over, it's over, and he goes back to being himself. I'm hoping that's what comes. But at the moment, the more I'm reading, especially with this, I, it feels very doubtful. That being said, this was an enjoyable read. The 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 it's fast paced. Um, I didn't mind the art. Um, it, it's a it's it's a good story. It's a good story within. Nice little one off. It, it's what I can see reading between the lines that I don't like. Um, so that's it, just a quick review for this issue one of Punisher War Journal Blitz. But like I said, interesting story, the colouring's nice, the art is, I quite like the art in it. Um, it's just where they're taking this character. Um, it's just sad to see. Sad to see. Anyway, it's AJ. Let me know your thoughts on this comic if you've read it down below, if you're a Punisher fan and you have read this. Um, I'd be very, very interested to hear your, your take on it. Thanks for watching, everyone, and take care.